Suppose if you are working on a project and it requires you to design a solution wherein when a user clicks on a button, it has to download the file to your local computer. This we are going to learn in this class. I will walk you through my application which I have created in order to solve the problem that is when the user clicks on a button, it has to download the file into your local computer. Now this method you can use for couple of scenarios. One scenario is you can store your file that is whatever you are trying to download in the resources section over here. And the same file you can download when the user clicks on the button or in most of the cases when on click of the button you would make a call to object storage not necessarily to oracle's cloud object storage it could be any other vendors as well also you can make a call to any rest apis in the response you might get a base 64 content or binary content and that base 64 content you will convert to a file and it will download your computer now in this case what i have done is in order to incorporate those scenarios i have created an event for this button so let me show you that event Go to the events click on the event so what i am doing to do is i have created a javascript function for this by default in visual builder we don't have a inbuilt functionality in order to achieve this use case so you have to go for the javascript method to build the javascript you might get n number of solutions on stack overflow as well as on github you can use any of the methods i am just demonstrating you with the help of visual builder that this functionality is possible with the help of visual builder so this function that is download file function I have created in the page level javascript function I will walk you through this shortly. Now in this action chain instead of call function you might have a call to a rest api or you could make a call to the integration or other services and get your file in the response. So I have considered that I am getting the response in base64 format. One of the input parameters for the javascript function is base64 content next is a mime type like this will have information like what file it is of like the pdf file excel file word documents so and so forth things and next is a file name i will click on this assign and show you this is one of the sample base 64 content for one of the pdf files i will show you when i download this from the browser next is the mime type so here i have written as application slash pdf also this you can get at runtime suppose you are making a call to bip report and in the response you are getting a csv file or a pdf file at that time according to your bip report response you can mention the mime tape like this and next comes the file name you can mention appropriately now i will walk you through the javascript function by clicking on this go to module function i have created this download file javascript function with three input parameters base 64 mime type and the file name i have created this base 64 to array buffer so this function i have created in order to convert base 64 content to a buffer that is array buffer so that I am using and creating a link and it will download the file to my computer. So I have made use of this link dot click off. So you will get n number of solutions on the stack overflow in order to achieve the use case as well. So this is one of the method what I have used. In this case I have considered that I am getting the base 64 content of the file and that I am converting to a file and downloading to local computer. In your case you might get this in a binary format or raw format n number of formats you can have for a file. So let me just preview this application and show you on the browser. So I will click on this file. So what it will do is it will make a call to event and in the event it will make use of the action chain and in action chain I have made use of the javascript function in which I am sending the base 64 content mime type and the file name and I am getting this file. I will click on this file. So this is the base 64 content what I have written so it has downloaded this file. So like this you can build the functionality in your visual builder application when the user clicks on the button it will download a file to a local computer.